Uh, hi guys, today we will be looking at a Node.js module which is called as Browse Verify. So this is a Node.js module which is uh, useful for if you want to use your uh, NPM modules in the browser. So it converts the Node.js modules so that you can just use these modules in the browser. So we will be looking at example of this library, Browse Verify. So first of all, you should uh, globally install this module by executing this command that is npm install dash g browserify. So if you just go to your command line, so just execute this command which is uh, npm i dash g for the global and the name of the library which is browserify. So I have already installed this library. So now I have a simple node.js project which I have created here. So inside this, I will be installing two modules. So this is my directory. So I will be installing two modules, which will be unique and second will be jQuery. So these are the NPM modules that I will be installing inside my Node.js application. So it is just installing, so just wait. So you can see that two packages have been successfully added and now I will be uh, creating this uh, let's suppose I will create this bundle dot JS file and I will import these two modules unique I will require it unique and I will also require jQuery so I will require it jQuery and now I will be uh, compiling these two modules with the help of browser file so I am just taking the example with this official website. You can see that it has installed this module and uh, required that module. And let me just copy paste the code here. So after that we have an array here. So, so we are printing out this unique function which is there inside this module. So it uniquely printing out the elements which are there in this array. So all the elements which are repeating will be removed in this console log. So I just need to just uh, compile this with the help of Browserify so that I can just in the use this file inside my browser. So I will just go back to this uh, directory here and I will execute a simple command Browserify and then I will be writing here dash so you can just refer to the documentation here if you want to study how to just uh... so this is a command guys first of all you provide your input file so in this case the input file is bundle.js so bundle.js and for the output we will be just be writing dash o followed by the path of the output file so this i want to create it inside my dist folder so I will be creating a dist folder so just wait so inside my directory I will be having my dist folder so dist stand for distribution so inside this distribution I want to create another file which will be bundle.js so I enter it so it will take some time it will be converting this code here so if I just uh, see it, you will see that it has created this bundle.js. Now if I open this, so it has successfully converted or compiled this code so that the browser can understand. So I can just copy paste this uh, folder here. And I go to my, this is my server here you can see that this is my server folder so i just want to just copy paste here i will just paste this folder here distribution folder and now i will be just be creating a simple index.html file just to include this script so that to check if the script is working or not let me just write a simple doc type uh, document let me just give a title browserify demo so inside this i will be just be including my dist dot bundle dot js right at the top and inside body i will be just be having a paragraph 
browse your file demo and for also be checking jquery i will be having a simple custom script here i will be just be loading let's suppose document or ready function of jquery if it is working or not so i will be just be writing alert box here so if jquery has been successfully loaded then it will be printing out this alert which is hello world now if i go back to my exam server that i am running running here let me just go back to my address here localhost browser file so if i just go back to inspect element so you will see that the array is printing out you can see that correctly you can see that the array got printed out correctly uh, you can see that in our bundle.js we have console log this array here so this is printing out correctly so the first part is doing well but the second is there uncaught reference error uh, dollar is not defined because i named this as this so this was the error guys in the bundle.js we have named this reference as jquery so that is why it is not working so I just need to change this as a dollar here so that the to make sense here you know in my file here you can see that I am reference referencing jQuery by this dollar symbol so that is why it was creating error and now I have made a change here and now I need to recompile this so in order to recompile this I want to again go back to and execute this command again and enter so it will again create this bundle.js with the required changes and now I once again want to uh, first of all delete the old file from my directory here so I want to delete this and again include this uh, dist file so I will copy this and paste it here and now if I refresh the browser you will not see that error Uh, let me just see what is this change to dollar so it should work dist bundle.js mm, require jquery let me just uh, manipulate the p element let me just target this p element by its id let me just name it give it a id of it paragraph so let me just target it by its id whenever i click this So whenever I click this paragraph element a alert box will be shown to us so now if I refresh it 